you are on the lookout for the best budget tablet for children you could possibly buy, then this is the video for you. But first, let us know more about G-Tide Clap T1 Android tablet. Welcome back, this is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. Inside the box we got a tablet itself embedded in a nice and soft silicon casing, power adapter, USB-C charging cable, instruction manuals, a warranty card, set of stickers for children and an OTG adapter. OTG stands for on the go and it allows to connect a full size USB flash drive, hard disk or USB-A cable to the tablet through the built in USB socket. Tablet has been designed with children in mind, so G Tide adds an additional protection by bundling the tablet with a dedicated silicon protective casing, which has a nice soft feel and prevents from all kind of these oops moments. The casing gives full protection for the tablet and serves as a stand as well. I would say the durability is 10 out of 10 here. It feels like a very solid tablet. It also comes with a tempered glass screen protector already on it. If we flip the tablet upright, here we could find the power on off button, which also serves as a wake up screen button. There's volume down button, next to it it's a volume up button, here we can find the headphone jack where we can plug the headphones or headsets, and that's the USB-C port, this is where we plug the charger, and it also serves as a data transfer, you can plug the hard disk or USB stick here. At the front panel we've got a microphone here. At the top we got 5 megapixel webcam in the middle of the landscape mode, which I like because most of the time everyone using a tablet like this, g tide knows this and puts the webcam in a better place, unlike the Amazon Fire 87 or iPad. At the back panel we got an 8 megapixels camera, let's turn it back. Here are the speakers, by the way the speakers are very loud, you definitely have to turn down the system sounds volume in the settings. We also got here micro SD card slot for adding some extra storage. It's cleverly hidden under the protective casing so the children won't even notice it's there. To the existing built in 32GB you can insert additional up to 128GB. Once you'll take off the casing, inside we got a normal looking tablet with pretty thin bezels, nearly identical to an adult version of the tablet, g tide H1. With the g tide T1 you can choose between the colours of the casing, blue and pink, which is simple and tidy, blue for boys and pink for girls, smart. Since your tablet is factory new, to start your tablet press and hold the power on button, the g tide logo will appear, you'll need to select location information, your preferred language and other setup options before you can enjoy your new g tide tablet with Android 11. The whole process takes around 5 minutes and it's very simple. One of the best features is definitely pre-installed Clap app, which is the g -Tide's own software, which offers a good way to learn and play for children. It has various activities for children, painting, counting, reading, memory games, etc, etc. And the most important feature for me as a parent, I can set up the parental control, the length of screen time, it allows to see the statistics of what content my child has been watching and playing and for how long, as well as I'm able to block any potentially unwanted or children inappropriate content. In general, parental control mode is essential for keeping the little ones off the sites they should not be on and they could still enjoy the games they love. The parental control apps are usually paid apps, but in this case g tide give their app for free. It also got a few other apps pre-installed, for example YouTube, Facebook, Google Drive, etc. The g tide T1 runs on Android 11, which gives more control over privacy and security to users than any previous versions of Android and it comes with numbers of useful features, including message bubbles, redesign notifications, media player widgets, screen recording, improved work profiles, etc. Under the hood, the T1 boasts a mid-range chipset called Allwinner A133, with 4 cores running at 1.6GHz. It's a basic CPU for this type of device, but it does the job well. 
This is not a gaming machine for gamers, but it runs really well for children games and mentioned earlier collab games. The T1 offers pretty nice graphic performance thanks to the native integrated graphic processing unit which is responsible for operating with the graphical data. The primary storage is 2GB of RAM and 32GB of storage capacity which in case if you find it not enough it can be expanded up to 128GB using an external micro SD card. This is, I would say, enough for young users considering it's a budget friendly tablet. A single sensor and LED flash find their place near a small camera lens at the back. The rear camera offers 8 megapixels, which is fine. In my opinion, the back camera doesn't have to be a massive amount of megapixels because this is a tablet camera, but this one is definitely functional. And in fact, the camera you would use most often in a tablet is probably the front facing camera, which is 5 megapixels. Out of curiosity, I have checked the Amazon reviews from all over the world to see what existing users are saying about the tablet and here we got adorable and affordable kids tablet or oh, excellent tablet, good quality, excellent product. The reviewers from the United States say super easy to use, perfect for little hands. Oh there it is, some two stars review. The price point isn't worth in my opinion. Well, I have checked the prices of the other compatible tablets and the price point doesn't seem bad for a large screen tablet that includes a thick protective case which is 119 British pounds, 122 American dollars or 119 euros. And if you take off the discount voucher that's currently being made available, it works out at around half the price of similar offerings from the big brands. That makes it half the price of the same size tablets. G-Tide T1 has a 6000 mAh battery for a tablet standard. The manufacturer claims it provides 7 to 12 hours of daily use on a single charge. This means the battery will deliver for all your needs on the go without the necessity of being recharged quite often. Obviously charging time will vary depending on remaining battery life. If you are charging from 0%, this should take approximately 4 hours. That's not bad considering other budget tablets where the full charging time is around 5 to 6 hours. I am happy with this, let me know what you think in the comments below. There's a growing demand for tablets designed for children. For remote education these days, the G-Tide is a solid option. For someone looking for a wallet-friendly tablet, G-Tide T1 should be one of the best choices. The price point doesn't seem bad for the large screen kids tablet that includes a thick protective case with a built-in carry handle. The screen is of a good quality and the tablet has been working well as a browser, for gameplay and for playing back YouTube videos. Right guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed that video and found it really helpful and informative, please leave us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please go and click that subscribe button so you won't miss when the next video comes out. I'll see you next week. That was Adam and you watched Family Pop TV YouTube channel.